Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the authentic, original 2i Boat Shoe by Sperry. What's particularly exciting about this pair is that they collaborated with Herschel Supply Company. This particular color is the Peacoat Navy and Blanc de Blanc, which is the white bottom on the boat shoe. In this particular video, we are going to do an unboxing. I will show you the packaging, the marketing, and I will finish the video off by putting it on my foot and giving you the overall experience. As a bonus, I'm going to compare it to the Sperry Gold Cup boat shoe. I've had these for a while and this is the premium line of the boat shoe that Sperry makes. And if you're seeing this in the future and they're sold out, you can always refer to this if you're trying to track down this particular color combination. And Sperry is nice enough to give us a carry bag here. Quite nice, this is somewhat of a thicker mesh material. And interestingly enough, there is some sort of a speckle you can see there. I can't see this right now with the naked eye, but for some reason on the camera, it's showing this speckle. So that's quite nice. If we look at the interior, it has this breathable mesh that can drain very easily if you do take your shoes to the beach or to the pool. You have the Herschel logo here on the exterior. Here on the top, we have a durable nylon loop. This is the same material that is used on the rear of the shoe for a shoe pull. Now these don't have it, but I'll show you shortly that these do. And this is the material that the cord slash lace is made out of. So pretty interesting that they're using the materials and incorporating it into this bag as well. Here's where it gets interesting. We have a strap on this side of the bag, but not on this side. So it's not one of those nylon mesh backpacks that you see from high school where it's a drawstring. You have a drawstring on this side and then you have a drawstring that runs diagonal here. So what I'm going to do is put some shoes in here to see how this would work. So we'd put our shoes in there like such and perhaps what I'd assume is that you put this over one shoulder and you don't really carry it as a backpack. My thought is that you tighten this as much as it goes so that you close the bottom here so that the shoes don't fall out. And with this extra cord, you pull it and you can probably use this cord to tie it on your boat or against something. And then here with this nylon loop, we could possibly hang it. I think this is quite an odd design. I don't know the meaning behind it. I'm guessing it has to do with having this on a boat or something, but quite an odd design. So I'm not a fan of this bag. Now, if you're just using this bag for storage or you wanna put your beach towel in here or something, it, it's a pretty good option, but I just think they should have explained why. They Inside, we're going to have a cardboard shoe insert. Also included is this little keychain, and this is a neoprene spongy material similar to the floaties that the lifeguards use. And we see that the collaboration is embossed there into the leather. What you're seeing here is a woodland camo embossed full grain leather, and this moccasin construction which is what makes these boat shoes so comfortable, 
that you just slide your foot in and out of. On the inside, you can see Herschel's red and white striped liner, which is on everything from shoes, hats, and most notoriously, their backpacks. For the sole of this boat shoe, we have a non-marking rubber with wave siping that allows you to get very good grip on wet and dry surfaces. So you can see what looks smooth there, but check this out. I'm not too crazy about the quality control on these shoes, especially because it's marked up 60 additional dollars. So first and foremost, you're gonna see here, the woodland camo is embossed way more clearly than on this side. This is very lazy and it hardly matches how prominently displayed it is there. Next, on the front of the shoe, we have this peeled material, which is quite visible. On the left shoe, we have this noticeable white stain here, as well as here, and some in there as well. Then we have some more up here. And I'm not sure what this is here, but it seems like a piece of string got glued onto the shoe. Then here's another look at the front, how detailed this woodland camo is here and how faint it is here. These boaters feature a cushioned ortholite insole and these are comfortable, but I'm just gonna make this disclaimer right away that these are not to be confused with an all day shoe. Yes, you can wear them all day, but recently I just wore my other Sperry's all day. And what I noticed is that at the end of the day, my heel is going to be sore as well as my knees and lower back. So. This is more comfortable if you're running errands or if you're standing up and down, but if you're going somewhere to walk all day, this isn't the best shoe design for you. You might want to go with a walking shoe or a running shoe. You can do it, but I just want to let you guys know that you might be a little uncomfortable after a long day walking in these. You can expect each shoe to weigh about 13 ounces each. That's a little less than a pound per shoe. Here we have a heel pull, and this is constructed from a pretty durable nylon, the same that we see here on the bag that does differ from the traditional boaters that do not have that pull. I personally think this is more for look than functionality just because with these boaters, the reason I like them is because you could just slide your feet in without having to bend down and pull them on. So this is more for look than anything. Also, I would have appreciated if they added a little bit of red accent on here to make this pop a bit more. This lace is being referred to as a Prusik cord lace with the reflective fleck here. I really like that feature, but it is a bit classier to have this leather finished cord that Sperry traditionally uses on their boaters. So this looks a bit more childlike and this leather cord does look more attractive and more classy in comparison to this cord. That said, this gives the shoe more of an urban street look in comparison to the traditional shoes. And also we can see here that a similar cord is used for this carry bag that has been provided. As always, Sperry gives you rust-proof eyelets around the shoe. One benefit I may see with these laces are that they are easier to lace up in comparison to the leather. Since the leather is a lot thicker, it's not as flexible and you can get a very nice tight knot with these. One of the features I'm not a fan of are that these labels here are offset. So it looks like your tongue is crooked, but in reality, these are just shifted off to the side. I would have liked to see the label right in the middle so it has more of a symmetric look. On the right here, we can see that the woodland camo is embossed much more prominently than on the left. I just want to show you the differences between the Gold Cups and this Sperry collaboration. The Gold Cup is going to be using a much nicer insert, whereas here you can see that these are the same inserts that are used on the $94 Sperry boat shoe. Looking at the eyelets, Sperry gives you a much nicer eyelet here in comparison to this standard eyelet. The leather used on the Gold Cups is a much nicer quality to me. With occasional leather conditioner, this leather stays very soft. So for myself, the thing to justify right now is if this is worth the $60 markup in comparison to the standard boat shoes, which are 
and these are going to be going for $154.95. So that's a $60 premium. And I don't know if the build quality really gives me much better materials to justify that $60. Basically, most of this material is going to be similar to what is used in the $94 variant. You're not getting a nicer insert. You're not getting the leather lace. You're not getting nicer eyelets. And you don't have anything extravagant going on in the bottom and the sole. It's standard typical construction aside from this uniquely colored design and this nylon heel pull on the end here. So this would have been nice to see at around $115, $120 price point max. But for $60 more, I'm not seeing any fancy materials being used here or technology that makes this shoe much more enjoyable or premium. In comparison, the gold cups go for about $165. I'm sure you can find plenty on sale. But here we're paying a very high premium just to have this collaboration. Just for comparison, this is the Herschel and Dr. Martin's collaboration here. And this price was almost identical, if not identical, to the regular Dr. Martin's boot in this style. So there wasn't a crazy markup like these. These have a $60 markup and I'm just pointing that out. I don't know if Herschel did enough and Sperry did enough to make these stand out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you like these or are you going to pass these up? Also, lastly, if you guys could please like, please subscribe. I'm going to bring more content to you like this in the future and it helps these smaller channels grow. And as always, have a great day. Have a great evening. Striker out.